Today we will focus to the presence of the US Army at DFA 2021 and also a visit to the static display with helicopter and aircraft. Here you can see the Storm Rider vehicle. It is a brand new vehicle that was introduced into the market uh, only a few months ago. It is uh, one of the first vehicle which is around 11.5 ton GVW and can carry um, 10 soldiers. So it is very unique. Not only it is protected against mines and also can provide a very high level of protection for kinetic energy. What you can see here is again the very unique kitted hull of Plasan. All the vehicle is bolted in order to allow us to provide the vehicle to customer that would like to assemble the vehicle themselves. The mechanism and all the doors are very straightforward. As you can see, I can actually open it with my only few fingers. The other way, the heavy door is equipped with the stabilizer so it will not uh, close because it is heavy and you can see that all Plasan vehicles are equipped with internal liner. What you can see here is that all Plasan vehicles which are mine protected are equipped with one lever that also operating two combat locks in order to prevent the door from opening during blast. It is a very um, easy to operate and also provide the ergonomic aspects which is related to this kind of vehicle. Inside the vehicle there is a very convenient dashboard which is much more suitable uh, for the use of different mission around the globe and of course the blast mitigated seat and the floating floor are, al are allowing us to protect the soldiers from blast underneath the vehicle. Beside the driver seat, which is very convenient, you can also see the position of the potentially remote control weapon station, which is going to be mounted over here. So this is the gunner station for the remote control weapon station. And on top of that, all doors for soldiers are equipped with gun port that are allowing us to return fire in case of uh, insurgents attack. The other thing which is also nice about the Storm Rider that it comes in different design. Here you can see a very smooth design, a more round and in the catalog you can see other designs. So again our ability to adapt the vehicle according to the customer need. Finally, the driveline is a very powerful driveline, about 330 horsepower, including independent suspension, all-wheel drive, differential locks, front, center, and rear, and of course, integrated CTIS with a huge mount engine-mounted compressor. The other thing which is also important is that the vehicle, in case of the need of the customer, can come also with all the features that are related to NATO standard if they are required like a towing hook, electric devices and other features which are related to mission modules 
according to NATO standard. That's all for now, folks. See you at the next episode of SOAP. My name is Guillaume Pengam, I'm the marketing director for vehicles within uh, Nexta Systems in France. The vehicle behind me is uh, the VBCI uh, Philoctetis. So uh, it integrates the uh, latest evolutions regarding lethality, mobility and protection onto the uh, French combat proven infantry fighting vehicle successfully deployed already in uh, Afghanistan, Lebanon and Africa. Uh, as you can see, uh, it features a bigger turret than the uh, classical French uh, VBCI, uh, in integrating a 40mm gun from Nexter as well, um, able to defeat any kind of threat on the battlefield thanks to the gun and uh, missile pods, uh, including 5th generations uh, anti-tank missiles. The other advantages are mainly mobility, thanks to uh, two front and one rear steering axles, and, uh, of course, the outstanding level of protection granted by the, uh, the hull, uh, according to the highest and even above NATO standards against landmines, IEDs and ballistics, of course. And the purpose of this vehicle displayed here under the grey colour as a tribute to the, our hosting country for today is, uh, well, to show uh, a nice new vehicle um, featuring all the latest upgrades from the retail experience of the French army and proposing it on the export markets. Well, the camouflage is uh, typically part of the, of the plan, if I can, may say so. Uh, it's uh, the uh, typical Greek camouflage and that's part of the tribute that we are intending to do here in the country. On the back of the vehicle on each side, you will find a black Greek map uh, as part of the integrated into the camouflage scheme, uh, once again, part of the tribute to, the, uh, to our hosting country. My name is Bogdan Barbulescu, I'm uh, uh, the director of Digital Bit. We are the producer of uh, remote control weapon stations and uh, we are uh, here presenting a totally new solution uh, where you can see integrated uh, in the weapon station not only the machine gun but also the missile. And my name is Matt Nickel. I'm at Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control. And as Bogdan has just said, uh, we've been working together on a joint project here to integrate Javelin Missile, the world's premier uh, fire and forget anti-tank guided missile, onto the digital bit remote weapon station. Absolutely. Well, uh, we had both uh, been working on this project for, for quite some time now. Um, our goal with Javelin right now is to integrate onto uh, remote weapon stations in order to uh, have a vehicle uh, integrated uh, anti-tank guided missile solution. And DigitalBit uh, has produced this uh, agile remote weapon station, which is a very lightweight, affordable, high-tech solution. Uh, so we have been working with them uh, for a the couple of years already um, on, this, on this project. Uh, we like to show, especially in these uh, times when uh, uh, there is many con financial concerns, we like to show to the potential customers that they have um, most uh, advanced technology uh, with a uh, big lethality capability, but in the same time affordable. Um, we're just very excited to be working together in this partnership, this joint uh, Romanian-U.S. partnership um, and being able to, to present this solution on the international level uh, jointly as a partnership together. Um, it's a very um, high-tech solution that will allow us to to uh, improve lethality of vehicles, giving not only a machine gun capability, uh, but also with the anti-tank guided missile. Um, and we think that um, that increased lethality and the survivability that you get from a fire and forget missile like Javelin um, is going to be a, a, um, a big hit on the market. And I think that there's, there's a lot of um, 
user requirements that, that this will fulfill. I'm Mr. Achille Fulfaro, I'm Senior Vice President Sales and Commercial Director Fincantieri. Uh, and Fincantieri, as you know, is a global uh, player leader in the naval uh, vessel uh, business. Uh, we have important business unit, uh, the military business unit, the cruise business unit, mega yacht business unit, uh, and uh, offshore business unit as well. So this is an important program for us, it's a strategic program for us. The approach of Fincantieri in, uh, in this country is to be a strategic partner as well. Uh, Italy and uh, Greece are a common country under our point of view. The proposal we are doing is the multi-mission frigate FRAM in anti-submarine warfare capability. It is a unique design and well proven in the world. We did uh, different important uh, programs uh, for different countries. Uh, so when we say well proven, we can test, we can prove the real high quality of this ship. Uh, the ship is uh, um, was provided to the Italian Navy, to other countries, and uh, it's important to underline the high level of flexibility of this ship, either for the combat system suite and also for the platform, and uh, the high quality in terms of anti-submarine warfare capability. We have a unique uh, um, underwater capability. Uh, the ship is flexible also under this point of view because the propulsion system and the level of noise is uh, reduced as much as possible. Uh, the fact that it is a well-proven product is really important because we tested the ship in different environment conditions and we have uh, unique results under this point of view. The proposal to the Hellenic Navy is first of all to understand the requirements and the needs of uh, uh, the end user uh, and uh, we feel that we satisfy 100% all the requirements so our flexibility is also to adapt the ship, that is an Aziz ship, uh, in order to uh, cover all the requirements coming from the end user. Uh, moreover, uh, we are providing a complete package of services, including the transfer of technology. We acquired a huge experience in terms of transfer of technology with the international uh, important programs uh, we got, and we put this experience also uh, for the local shipyards, because as you know, uh, we have to produce uh, three of these vessels in-house in here in, in the local shipyards. So we feel that our experience in the transfer of technology is very important for, for this. Uh, regarding the package of, of services, uh, we want to underline also uh, the fact that we can cover from the mission profile analysis up to the end of life. It's important to underline also the potential cooperation between the Italian Navy and the Hellenic Navy on this program because uh, we can have a parallel program, the Italian Navy production of the new frame and the future production here of the Hellenic frame. My name is Stefan Stout, I'm the Sales Director for Greece. I work for the Dama Shipyards Group. We're a privately owned company with 35 shipyards, 12,000 employees. Uh, we deliver about 200 vessels a year. Since 1969 we have delivered over 6,500 vessels, over which 1,000 have been built domestically. What we're offering for the Hellenic Navy as multi-mission frigates is the Sigma 11515. The Sigma is a product range of combatants that are modular designs. They are proven designs in operation in various navies and due to the modular design, they're also perfectly suited for local construction. The Sigma has been configured to meet all the technical and operational requirements of the Hellenic Navy. If you look at the weapon suite, it was configured according to their requirements. So for example, it has the MK-41 launchers. Next to that, it also has the very modern APOR Block II system which will also be in use by the Netherlands, Belgium and German Navy. So it also has a lot of commonality benefits for the Atlantic Navy in European-wide context. We intend to build all ships in Greece. 
and this is also possible due to the modular design. This similar approach has been used in Mexico and Indonesia, where we built for the first vessel the complex modules in the Netherlands, so the engine room and the command and control center, and all the other modules are built at the local shipyard. And especially for the first vessel, this allows for a de-risking of the building process, which uh, why we can ensure that we deliver the vessels on time. Next to that, because we are a private company, by nature we fully engage with the local industry. And this is also a reason why we're here at the FEA, to meet the local industry and to find common areas of interest.